Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we're here today at the Culinary Vegetable Institute, and we are here at the Earth to Table event. We've got some special guests, Jonathan Sawyer from the Greenhouse Tavern, and Farmer Jones. Thank you guys so much for taking time to talk with us. Absolutely. Our Thank pleasure. You. Thank you for having us. Talk about, Farmer Jones, what you do here at the Culinary Vegetable Institute. The Culinary Vegetable Institute is really a part of the chef's garden and it's designed to be able to allow chefs to be able to come in and to be able to do menu development and, and to really create. So many chefs get locked into the workplace on an everyday basis that they don't get to do the creativity things and this allows a forum for them to be able to come out and play and experiment and just to have fun. You've got greenhouses out here, you're, you're doing some growing, you're doing some tastings. Tonight you've got people coming from all over to, to have a big dinner, an Earth to Table uh, right. dinner. Jonathan, talk about this Earth to Table in the context of what you do at the Greenhouse sure. Tavern and Noodle Cat. I mean, I think one of the most unique things that we have with our client base in Cleveland is that 30 to 40 percent of them are vegetarian, vegan, or gluten-free based. No kidding. And part of our goal is that embracing everybody. I mean, we really want to make everyone happy, whether you want to chow on a pig's head or you want to eat the greatest veggie burger at lunch you can have. For us, it's about embracing our community and embracing the you know surrounding areas and getting our vegetables local. Is that changing? Do you, do you find more and more people? People going veggie, going vegan these days around here? Are you seeing the numbers Absolutely. change? Absolutely. I think the trend is more towards omnivorism, and then that's the gateway to vegetarianism, right. which is the gateway to veganism. <laughs> and all lifestyles and all walks of life are welcome in our restaurant. And Farmer Jones, you guys are training young people as well in the schools, aren't you, to uh, understand where their food comes from and to right. get a healthier sort of uh, lifestyle with their food? Right. You know, VeggieU is a curriculum that actually goes in fourth grade schools. Um, we're in 2,100 schools around the country. Really? It's really about empowering children to know that they have choices in food. And we're so grateful, folks like Chef Jonathan and the Greenhouse Tavern and chefs that have helped us really from all over the country help raise awareness and revenues to be able to put these curriculums in schools. They get seeds, they get soil, they get compost, they get a worm farm, they get a grow light. But more importantly, they get that curriculum that teaches them how to read a food label, where food comes from. And then they, they grow food and then they eat the food, isn't that right? It ties the <laughs> whole thing together. It's hands on. Are they also then teaching their parents? Aren't they taking this back? I mean, isn't that really yeah, what it's all about? Absolutely. Absolutely. In many cases, the, the issues are second generation deep. And yeah. we have heard over and over how this is really engaged and given them something in common to talk about because the youngster then wants to work in the kitchen with mom or right. dad and go to the grocery store, teach mom or dad how to read a food label. Right. It's amazing the power that this program has. That's great, and congratulations. You're, you're, you're reaching how many students? Do you have any idea, roughly? It's in the thousands. Thousands. And we literally have hundreds of schools waiting for the program at yeah. any one time. That's just great. What are we going to expect here tonight? Uh, Earth to table. <laughs> We're celebrating uh, vegetables, baby. Yes. And is it all going to come from, from right around here? I mean, this is an agricultural yeah. state, Ohio. Yeah. We grow a lot here, but we don't we grow don't. everything, right? No, because we don't. So you really have to kind of measure that out with uh, yeah. food from elsewhere, I assume. I mean, for this dinner, really the only thing we're getting outside of our 100-mile terroir is going to be kombu, which comes from the ocean. We don't really have any oceans close to us. No. <laughs> Everything else is coming from right here at this farm. 83 farm. different derivations of vegetables Some procured meat. from this farm. Really? Over 13 different courses. So no one's going to miss the meat at this vegetarian dinner. We can have any wine here tonight, too, I hope. Is that, is that part of it? Wine and beer, of course. <laughs> Great. We've already had our share, so. <laughs> Food and wine go together like a sock and a shoe. There you go. I'll tell you, I am so honored and so excited to have Jonathan here and his team to really celebrate vegetables tonight, celebrate food, people, life, health, and it's just an amazing, amazing night for us. Well, we are lucky to be here. Thank you guys for taking Thanks time. you so got to get time. back Appreciate inside that. and do some cooking now. Thank yeah, you so much for right. talking with us. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.
Cleveland. Week in. 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 Cool. So much. Tonight's roughly, really ham, cool, 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 so much.